Hey sixth grade, today we are going to get started on writing equations using the data that we find in the little tables that we use in math. So we have one learning goal for today and no vocabulary for this lesson. So our learning goal is pretty easy. It's just I will write equations using data from tables. Boom. That's it. So let's take a look at our first table. And we have our X column, we have our Y column, and then we need to have the values put into each one of those, which I know they already are on your guided note sheets. So let's see. Okay, so we need to take a look at the table and we need to figure out what is happening to X that gives us the value in the Y column. And you need to make sure that you're getting this all in your notes, filling in the blanks on your guided note page, whatever. Um, so when we look at our table, we can see that when we add five to X, we get the value for Y. One plus five is six, three plus five is eight, five plus five is 10, and seven plus five is 12. So X is always the independent variable that little guy right here. X is always independent variable and Y is always the dependent variable. So we can write our equation by using the two, whoops, wrong one. We can write our equations by using the variables from this table, which means that in the case of this table, Y would equal X plus five, because you have your X value over here. You add 5 to it, and that's how you come up with y. All right, let's take a look at another table. Okay, on this table, we need to come up with the equation for another one. Um, so when we look at the x values, we can see that y is 7 times the value of x because two times seven equals 14, five times seven equals 35, and seven times seven equals 49. So that means that our equation to go along with this table would be y equals seven x, because y equals seven times x. All right, let's take a look at this third table. So we have our x column, our independent variables column. We have the Y column, the information that is our dependent variable. Um, 15 plus four equals 19. 20 plus four equals 24. 32 plus four equals 36. So we can see that our equation for this table would be Y equals X plus four. Okay, and this table is going to be our last table to do together, and then you will need to complete the rest of the equations and tables that are in your guided notes. So, let's figure out our equation for this table that we have here. Um, and a hint, this the equation that we come up with for this is going to include two operations. So, when because when we look at our table, we can tell that we're going to need to use more than one in order to find our y value. So in this case, x is multiplied by 2 and then added, 1 is added to it. So you'd have 0, whoops, let me get my pen back on. So let's take a look at the first x and y values that we have. So we'd have 0 times 2 plus 1 would equal y. So 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 gets you 1. Um, for the next one, 2 times 2 plus 1, whoops, dang, plus 1 equals 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5. And then we have 6 times 2 plus 1 equals 13. 6 times 2 equals 12, add one more to it, and you wind up with 13. So you need to get the tables that are in your guided notes completed. Make sure you bring 
all of those notes and your math binder to class so that we can go over all of this together.